Welcome to this series of videos looking at the Orion Workmate mobile app. In this video we'll cover the basics, how to open the app and log in, navigation and accessing app features, clocking on and off, logging out and how to log in using offline mode. Let's get started. To launch the app swipe up from the bottom of your screen. Then tap Orion Workmate. When you launch the app on your mobile device, you'll see the login screen. The first time you launch the app, you'll need to make sure the network status light is green, meaning you are online. Once you've set up your PIN code, you can use the app in offline mode when the network status light is red. Enter your username. Now enter your password. If you select Remember Me on this device, the app will remember your username the next time you log in. When you're done, tap Login. The next step is to enter a six digit PIN code. Choose anything you like, so long as you can remember it. You'll need this PIN code to log into the app if you have no network service coverage. When you're done, tap Apply. After logging in, you'll see the dashboard. The dashboard is your main screen for accessing app features. Tap any dashboard item to access that feature. For example, tap My Jobs to open the My Jobs page. You can also access app features using the quick navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. Tapping Home takes you back to the dashboard. You can also select the Clock In, My Planner or Annual Leave pages from the Quick Navigation Bar. Tapping Menu on the bottom right of the Quick Navigation Bar slides out the menu. Select a menu item to access that feature. Using the Menu or the Quick Navigation Bar means you can access features from anywhere in the app without having to go back to the dashboard first. One of the first things you'll need to do is clock in for your shift. To do this, select the clock in out item from the dashboard, from the quick navigation bar, or from the menu. To begin your shift, tap clock in. The shift duration starts counting your time on shift. Once you've clocked in, the movement section displays below. To record breaks, enter your break start time and break end time. You can add comments which your shift manager will see. For example, if you're late on shift for any reason or forget to take a break. To clock out, because it's the end of your shift or because you're stopping work for some reason, tap clock out. When you clock out, the time and shift duration are recorded. If you need to clock back in on the same day, click clock in again. Another set of fields displays under movements where you can record break details and comments. At the end of your shift, tap clock out as we described earlier. When you've clocked out, tap save in the top right corner. This saves your clock details and synchronizes them with the ERP system. To log out of the app, open the menu and click log out at the bottom. This takes you back to the login screen. You can now close the app if you want to. If the network status light is red because the network is not available, you can still log in using offline mode. Just enter your passcode, the six digit PIN code you set up earlier, then tap login. In offline mode, although certain buttons such as my jobs aren't available, you can carry on using the app normally. Updated workflows and form data are saved to your local device. The only thing to remember is that you'll need to synchronize your data when you're back online. To do this, when you're back working in online mode, go to Settings 
and tap Submit Local Data to Server. This sends all your local data to the ERP system, including your clock-in times and completed workflows.